Welcome to the test drive of Klaas's latest Arian 400 series of which we have the 460 to test with panoramic roof option. Uh, this particular model is 140 horsepower and it sits at the top of the new Arian range. As you can see we've got brand new cab options taking many design cues from uh, Klaas's bigger brothers such as the larger Arians and big Axians and then underneath we've got a nice refined transmission courtesy of Gima. Something that the Arian 400s have never had before is the option of front axle suspension courtesy of Carraro and it is exactly the same uh, unit as used on the larger Arian 500s and 600s. Okay up front then it is out with the Dia power systems engine and in with a Fiat powertrain. Maintenance wise pretty simple cartridge system for air intake mounted at the front very easy to get to but if radiators do start to clog up a bit you can just pull them out like that loads of space get your hands in clean it out and there's a nice flat surface underneath so you can just get your airline blow it off blow it away get it out of there so operation wise i mean particularly with load of work the first thing that is massively noticeable is the huge amount of visibility you've got with this panoramic roof pretty much from floor to maximum lift height you can see just about everything that the attachment on the loader is doing. Control wise the uh, integrated loader joystick is really nice to use. Very sensitive, very responsive, can place stuff exactly where you want it and unlike other tractor manufacturers who have added on a joystick as a bit of an afterthought and as a bit of a compromise this has been designed from the outset with the joystick and loader operations in mind. Transmission wise it's the same principle that all large class tractors employ from the size of tractor and above really. You've got a nice little thumb roller on here, flick it up once, you go up a gear and if you keep flicking it through a detent like that you go up a range as well and similarly back down a range. Now for this particular version which is the Panoramic Plus you also get 110 litre per minute load scenting hydraulics which as you can see with hardly any uh, input into the joystick gives plenty of uh, loader action very swift very responsive however you can opt for a slightly lower specification of open centre hydraulics but with twin pump if you want which gives you a combined figure of about 98 litres per minute which locks out the rear linkage and channels all the hydraulic capacity to the loader. At the rear end then we've got some uh, decent class logic as we've seen them demonstrate before on the larger machines. Handy link ball storage, handy place for your drawbar storage at the rear end where you want them when you're swapping it around. Another example of decent build quality we've got some solid moulded fenders. Uh, also conveniently at the rear end for helping when Hitching up to a, an a implement, we've got controls for a linkage and you've got some PTO activation and deactivation buttons as well. Pick up hitch wise, class have gone for a chain type system. All it is, simple locking mechanism and it's operated using a spool valve so you pull it in, unlock the locking mechanism and you just push it out and it just sort of arcs down to the floor like that. Like I say, very simple to use, one slight downside is uh, it's quite a deep profile there so just make sure your skids are high enough on your implement so you can get the hook underneath uh, you also lose a little bit of control say if you do need to dig underneath the hook to get it under So then, what do we think of the new Arian 400 range? I think it's fair to say Class have done a sterling job with it, to be honest, especially when you consider its predecessor was a good solid tractor all round. 
particular updates which really stand out are this panoramic roof option and even more integrated controls on the joystick which has been specifically designed uh, rather than being an afterthought or, or a compromise it is a great loader tractor uh, if you go for one of the higher pump capacity options you really do get some swift loader actions that said we've had it in the field on a slurry tanker and it's more than capable of doing that and I'm sure it is if you do some cultivation work as well so overall for a 140 horsepower tractor in this compact size it is a true decent all-rounder that said there are a couple of little niggly bits but nothing major if you do drop the loader off it would be great if you could just lock the joystick solid for transport duties then it just becomes a grip then so nothing major and overall a decent tractor